Hi guys, and welcome to this week's Tuesdays with Terica. Hey, you know what? I'm going to be speaking with Miss Ashley McClary. She is a local school teacher in our area. She's got some great information for you. You don't want to miss this. Okay, guys, today we have the privilege and the honor of speaking with Miss Ashley McClary. How are you, Ashley? I am doing well. I'm excited to be here. I am so excited that you are here um, because our topic is something that I mm -hmm. think uh, is so beneficial to the masses. Yeah. Uh, anybody who is raising children, have um, a child in your life, I think this is going to be some helpful information to you. So for those of you who don't know, Miss Ashley is actually a school teacher at one of our schools here in the Greenville District. Local district. Local yeah. district. Local <laughs> yeah. district. Okay. And so we just wanted to have conversations so that while your children or whoever the young person is in your life uh, while they're out for the summer, there's some helpful information that she may be able to share that will be beneficial for you guys. Okay. All right. So Ms. Ashley, let's, let's kind of get right into it okay. and just kind of see where we need to go here. So uh, you being a school teacher, how long yes. have you been teaching? Um, I'll be going into my 10th year of teaching really? this year. Yes, yes. So Did you years. always know you wanted to be a teacher? I did not. Um, when I was coming up, when I was graduating from high school, mm -hmm. it was around the time when everybody was going to school for nursing. So I was like, I need to be a nurse because <laughs> everybody's going to school for nursing, so that's mm -hmm. what I need to do. Um, Early on when I got into the, I didn't make it into the program, I was getting my general ed courses taken care of and I mm -hmm. took anatomy and I was like, this is not for me. <laughs> and I was but, getting ready to ask, yeah. are you sorry that you didn't go that no, route? But you answered no. that, so okay. <laughs> exactly, but I always knew that I wanted to help mm -hmm. people in some mm -hmm. sort, some capacity. Mm -hmm. Well, a little while later, I think it was a couple of years later, I took a break from school and I was invited to actually tutor some at-risk uh, students with a really? local church program. And I got there and, the, you know, it was a little tough. The The students were challenging, but I loved it, you know, okay. and I had Can you clarify for me. What does at risk mean? Um, there could there are multiple things that could have been going on. Truancy, meaning mm -hmm. multiple absences, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. behavioral, a lot of referrals, um, academic. Yeah. So it was they were trying to target certain students to help them, you know, in those areas. So I, I just loved it. You know, and I had no experience and you know, one of the coordinators, they're like, look and do what she's doing. And I was like, I don't know. So I, wow. after that, I was like, okay, this is it. This is it. So, you know, okay. So I, I kind of gave a face like, cause you were excited about the challenge. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of people run from the challenge. Right, right. And that really, because sometimes I run from the challenge, confrontation, yeah. confrontation. Right. Go on, little people. Go yeah, on. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think that is so often awesome, and it mm -hmm. really kind of addresses your heart. Yeah. Because you wanted to actually be in that arena where mm -hmm. it wasn't the easy thing to right, do. Right, right. Oh, gosh, that yeah. is so awesome. So with, with all that's going on, um, you know, a lot of parents kind of struggled when COVID came mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, they were having to be the teacher, yeah. the doctor, mm -hmm. yep. uh, you know, the whole everything, mm -hmm. not just mom. Yeah. Um, how do you think that has affected our children? Because I think you you guys really got more of an appreciation yeah. from mm -hmm. parents yeah. when all of that happened. Right. Then they had to see some things a little different that they may not have known. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So you're asking what were the effects like yes, the out what afterwards? The mm -hmm. um, well, I think, you know, kids are so resilient, you mm -hmm. know, so I think it affected them much different than mm -hmm. the masses. You know, we were looking at the mortality rates of different things, but the kids, they, you know, they, some kids got sick, but they were able to bounce back. I am actually seeing 
the effects in the social emotional arena really? you know as far as them being able to self-regulate mm. um and those are things and i think we miss that those are skills that they learn earlier on in kindergarten and first grade like how to self-regulate when you you know you feel something is something is unfair mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. how to um work out differences mm -hmm. you know and i think the thing with COVID is that the students were at home so everyone's like you. Everyone believes the same way you do. Mm -hmm. Everyone has the same morals or belief systems that you do. But what do you do when you're in a situation to where there are so many different personalities, so many different belief systems, and they have a hard time with that? But that's that. stuff that you, that kids, they work on earlier on in the early grades. So wow. I think, and they didn't get that, you know, because of COVID. So those are a few years that were missed. So that's something that we're working on. And my motto is, you know, like I want to teach the whole child, mm -hmm. you know, kids, mm -hmm. it, it's so much more to it. You know, a kid can know something academically, mm -hmm. but what if they're having an off day? What if they're anxious about grandma having surgery? Mm -hmm. You know, they're not going to be able to focus. So it's up to me as a teacher to be able to see that, you know, to see the unknown and, you know, work around that. You know, I think that is um, uh, awesome that you said that. Uh, so. For those of you who don't know, I've had like a million jobs. I've done everything <laughs> one time or another. But I worked at an after school um, through SHARE program. Okay, okay. And they would always say something happened at home if mm. the child's behavior changed yep. mm -hmm. uh, one, from one day to the next. Right, right. And I never knew that, um, mm -hmm. you know, because I don't have children. So I never mm. knew that. I never picked up on that. Mm -hmm. until I had that experience. Right. But in your position, mm -hmm. you're not just a teacher. Right. You're the counselor. Uh -huh. You are the, the nurse. The, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you like you, you guys wear so many multiple right. hats because right. you have to be in tune with what's going mm -hmm. on with mm -hmm. your students at any given time. Exactly. And exactly. it's not always able, easy to kind of di dissect yeah. what that is. Right, right. Because do they even have the vocabulary to even tell you sometimes? They don't. Well, I teach the older kids, so okay. they're, I don't know, like I would think they could, you know, verbalize mm -hmm. it, but they have trouble too. But I think it's it's usually the nonverbal. I think a big bulk of communication is wow. nonverbal anyway. Um, but I feel like I'm big on relationships. Like mm -hmm. that's something I, procedures and relationships, that's something that I like to get in place earlier on. And when you know the kids, you know when something's you know, off with them. So I'm a really a huge advocate for building relationships. Kids don't care what you know until they know that you care. So Oh, that's a good saying. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good saying. So when you said you, you're working with older children, what mm -hmm. age are you? Um, Nine to 11, okay. around that age. That's comfortable for you? Have you worked with the younger ones you as well? Know, or? I, I feel like that's a comfortable age for me <laughs> because they still love you, <laughs> but they're they're independent, you know, in that regard. So I don't know. I have a sweet spot for that age group. <laughs> so in in this, um, I get you said nine to 11 mm -hmm. age group. Yes, sir. What do you think are some of their challenges other than being able to communicate just okay. in general, just yeah. in the general I think age group. I'm seeing a shift, you know, like uh, I remember, and you can relate to this, when we were in school, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, your grades are everything, you know, and you want to do well and you want to understand you want those certificates at the mm -hmm. end of the year, the mm -hmm. end of the quarter, just saying like terrific kid. But I feel like the kids now, they, not all of them, but there is like a rise in children who they're just more concerned with social media and becoming the <gasps> new TikTok star and the new, you know, mm -hmm. I want to be a vlogger or influencer. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, just me having to stress to some kids, no, this is important. No matter what you want to do in life, this is mm -hmm. helping you to build that foundation, you know. That's um, a scary place because yeah. um, they're seeing or hearing about a lot of people making a, a lot, lot of money. money. Mm -hmm. And so they don't realize that you have to have education, yes. wisdom, and knowledge yes. to even know what to do with the uh -huh. money that you're getting. Exactly. So oh this is a goodness. foundation. So, yeah. And I try to do that. And when, when I'm teaching, I try to make it applicable to real life. Mm -hmm. You know, even when we're learning about decimals, okay, let's think of money. You know, how are we going to wow. work with money? So, mm -hmm. yeah, just... So they are able to make those connections. Mm -hmm. It's not just here in school, but you're going to be able to apply this in the real world. So Wow. I, that is, and I'm sure that is a challenge yeah. in trying to uh, help them with 
life skills yeah. versus media. <laughs> right, right. Well, we have to incorporate it. I think as a good teacher, you have to be in tune with what they're interested mm -hmm. in as well. Mm -hmm. Like we, we have fun in my classroom. We do impromptu, uh, <laughs> impromptu skits and everything just to get them excited mm -hmm. because I know it is hard and you know, we're coming back from COVID and just getting readjusted. So, <laughs> so as we are in the summer months for uh, summer vacation, mm -hmm. What could be a helpful thing that if a parent um, knows that their child has struggled uh, throughout the year mm -hmm. uh, in preparation for them for the next year, do you have any thoughts on what some easy things that can yeah. be done to help? Because, you know, in the summer, you're not it's really hard. wanting to do a whole lot right, of studying. Right. And, reading you know 20 books now mm -hmm. some kids do because that's just who they yeah. are but for the average kid that mm -hmm. is really not into all that right. what would you suggest for someone that's either caring for a child or as a parent okay 20 minutes a day <laughs> of reading 20 minutes a day and i feel like uh some parents think they have to read for hours or, mm -hmm. you know but 20 minutes a day it does wonders you know and I think and I even think it's a good idea to maybe like if you have a, a daughter or a son maybe start a chapter book with them like start mm -hmm. not like your own book club and it gets them interested and it builds their confidence mm -hmm. you know a lot of kids they lack the confidence being able to read in front of people but why not do it with mom or why not do it with dad wow. you know so start maybe doing a book club with you and um, that child or just 20 minutes a day I think that's it. That's all you need. And it helps with everything. I know we have different content areas. We have math, we have science, social studies, but comprehension goes all the way across the board. Mm -hmm. So it, even if a child is really good in math, if they're having trouble comprehending, they can't read those word problems. And a lot of our mm -hmm. math is has word problems. Mm -hmm. Social studies, they're not going to be able to understand what's going on if they have trouble comprehending. That's why I think that reading is the cornerstone the of it core. all. Yeah, it's the core of it all. And with uh, math, just those multiplication facts. That's something that gets the kids all the time, those math facts. But it's embedded in all the math in the upper grades. Mm -hmm. So if you know your multiplication facts, you know, and just learning those patterns, that's a couple minutes a day, just learning. Like if I know my fives, if I know five times seven is 35, <laughs> then seven times um, five is 35 as well. So just learning those things. So it's really, it's simple, but it does wonders. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm laughing kind of <laughs> inside because one of your former students, uh -huh. mm -hmm, <laughs> you know who you are, <laughs> I gave them, uh, her and, and another one of my little cousins, yeah. books to read. Okay. Do you okay. know they haven't read them to this day? <gasps> no. Mm -hmm. Are you to this serious? Day. I'm going to revisit that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to say, mm -hmm. your former teacher said, <laughs> said, yes. Yes, uh -huh. 20 minutes a day. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Do you have any concerns um, that about our youth and where they're going um, and how they will pe be prepared for the future? Right. Because um, somebody told me the other day, and I never thought about it, can you believe that this is this could be one of our future doctors? Oh, yeah. No, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that was my uh -huh. first thought. But, you right. know, of course, they're going to grow and mature. But right. what, do you have any concerns or any thoughts? I mean, I'm always concerned about how much access they have, mm -hmm. you know, with uh, the internet in general. I remember coming up, we had, you know, the internet had just started. We had mm -hmm. AOL, we had dial up, you had to wait for it and nobody better get on that phone <laughs> or it's gonna mess up your connection. Mm -hmm. But we were taught to be leery, like Wikipedia. You can't really, you know, you have to check your facts and some uh, sources aren't reliable, mm -hmm. you know, but I think and I see like uh, when they go online They're like, oh, but it's on the internet. So it's true mm -hmm. And I'm just like no so we work on that as far as researching like you can't just put Information down, but you have to make sure it's valid. So I think I just I'm concerned about and it's it's a two-edged sword because my kids They help me out a lot with uh, <laughs> technology and I'm like Miss Glenn can't get this I Can know. you help us and out? And they don't have to read the book and, and they don't <laughs> and they just know but then yeah. it's like they're open to all of this mm -hmm. and you know they us as adults, we have to kind of like cipher through, you know, but they don't have that ability because their young minds are still forming, you know, mm -hmm. so I get concerned about that and um, just, you know, them wanting to be 
stars, you know, and just, and it's not the everybody. Glitz, the yeah, the and glitz the and, you know, them, yeah. and just, I, I don't want them to forget about the foundation, mm -hmm. you know, as far as school and everything. And it's not everybody. It's just, you know, I'm just seeing a rise. <laughs> so do you still see a lot of um, school bullying or not as mm -hmm. much? Because uh, with the internet, I'm sure that still plays a part in that. Right, but. right. Well, I mean, I know for, for me individually, that's something. And our friend can let you know how I feel about it. I think it's all about building that community in your classroom, mm -hmm. building those relationships and just, you know, there are some non-negotiables in my mm -hmm. room and this is one of them. You know, it's so bad to where even kids from other classes may come, I'm gonna go get Miss McClary, you know, <laughs> just because I wanna get to the bottom of it mm -hmm. because, and I use myself, it's something like I was bullied, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel like being transparent with the kids, like they understand and they have, you know, that empathy for you mm -hmm. because they're like, okay, it happened to her too. So she, she'll she have my back. So they trust wow. you. You know, a lot of times, you know, they may not say anything, but they trust you. Like, I know she'll handle it, mm -hmm. so, yeah. You know, I wasn't a bully, um, but I I had this Robin Hood mentality. Uh, uh -huh. um, and I got in trouble all the time yeah. because it really wasn't my business. Right. <laughs> but but I did it because I hated yeah. seeing somebody being um, hit or made fun of. Right, right. And... No, I, I couldn't just stand there. Yeah. I talked too much. Yeah. I yeah. talked too much. That's the bottom line. I talked too much. <laughs> right. So I couldn't just, but I, I did get in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, of course I got props yeah. behind uh -huh. the door, uh -huh. but I always had to go through the door. Right, right. You know what I mean. I understand. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> so uh, with, with all of everything that's going on in our world and in our community, right. if you had to share... Um, some wisdom with mm -hmm. those of us who are in a young person's life. Right. You know, I'm not the parent, right? Uh, but I do play an instrumental part in in you know some of my people's yeah. lives. You know, the ones that allow me to do what right. I do. Right, right. Uh, they benefit from it too. They know they do. <laughs> but uh, what what information would you share that could help me to help them? Okay, uh, or to help a parent. Okay. Um, I would say I threw that one in. Yeah. I that one in. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like I, I don't think you should discredit yourself or think that you don't have you don't have a huge impact because you aren't the parent. Um, community is so important. You know, like you learn so much from everyone around you. And remember, we're educating the whole child, right. not just academics. Mm -hmm. So social etiquette. You know, just helping them in that regard, helping them to resolve differences that they may have with someone else. That's going to help them all together. So I feel like dropping those gems or giving them those pieces of advice and just, you know, wisdom. Mm -hmm. I feel like the, I mean, kids would prosper any, you know, regardless. So just don't minimize your role, mm -hmm. but just making sure you're imparting that wisdom and just remember the whole child. I think that's the big thing. The whole, the whole child, child is what we're developing. I think that's awesome. Yeah. I, I did a, um, uh, an, another episode. It was for Mother's Day. Oh, and okay. I was sharing uh, with my viewers that, yeah, I don't have children, but I love them. Yeah. I love them, not as though they're mine, but I love right. them to, in the capacity that I'm supposed to. And yes. probably a little more. Yeah. Uh, just because I know that God has given me a mantle of right. covering. Uh -huh. And so with that... Um, they benefit yes. a lot from, you know, even if they don't see it, it right. may not come in a gift form all right. the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we, we still try to always make sure um, that we are rewarding them and that we're right. listening to them. Yes, that's um, the big thing. I have one that I shared about, you know, she her answer is always, mm-hmm, yes, no, mm-hmm. Ah. That's her <laughs> her response. Uh huh. Until you feed her. Okay, and, and then she opens up. Yeah. Uh huh. But I, I think it's 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 really rewarding to know that um, you have the privilege and the mm -hmm. honor of helping to mold right. these children, That's and um, hopefully they will receive all that you have to give oh, as I you're so. pouring into them as yeah. well. And you know, there's so many other. Um, wonderful teachers and I know mm -hmm. that you yes. guys don't always get the respect and the props that mm -hmm. you deserve but we are so grateful um, so grateful for everything um, 
that you've done for my family. Yeah. Because I tell you, when you guys were going on the trip, yeah. and you know, at first, uh, her mom was like, I don't know. I said, no, she needs to go. Yeah. And she said, well, but she's not getting in the... I don't know, the pool of... Yeah, the mud pit. The mud, the mud pit. <laughs> uh -huh. And she, no, she's not getting... I said, no, yeah. she needs to have the full experience. Right, right. And so, you know, we kind of talked about it. And before I left her that day, she said, well, okay, I'll ask her if she wants to. And if she yeah. do, I'll just pack her some extra things. Right, And right. so I thought that was really nice that mm -hmm. you even took your time to do that because yeah. you don't really hear about people doing oh, that anymore. Yeah. So, <laughs> so how did that trip even come about? Was that one of your school it, uh, yeah, it curriculum? Was a, yes, okay. yes. It was It was really interesting. Like, um, it's a science standard or a okay. science standard. Just okay. talking about biomes and different ecosystems. So they were able to immerse themselves <laughs> in the different <laughs> ecosystems. So, yeah, they. it was one of those. One kid's like, this is going to go in our core memories. Like, yeah. Okay. So it was, it was big. Very it was impactful. Big. Uh -huh. Very impactful. <laughs> I think that is so awesome. Again, I just want to thank you for oh, taking time to be with me today. Yeah. If there's any other words that you would like to share, please feel free to do so um, mm -hmm. before we wrap up. Okay. The only thing I would say is I really, I truly enjoyed the conversation. Um, but just keep in mind that it takes a village. So I love this platform, just giving, you know, other parents, different resources and different advice and ideas on what as to what to do to help their uh, children but it takes a village and remember we are developing the whole child so just those different aspects so thank awesome. you for having me thank you so much miss <laughs> ashley yes. okay so guys we always try to come with helpful information uh information that is inspiring something that let you have an aha moment and we hope with the information that Ms. Ashley was able to share with you that you will be able to kind of dissect some things for your child or for that small person in your life um, so that they can be the greater mm -hmm. that God meant for them to be. Um, and if you ever need um, additional information, reach out to me. Um, I know people. <laughs> I might can get you some help, okay, or some answers or at least some direction. As always, this is Terika Talbert. I am a realtor with Century 21 Blackwell and Company, and I sponsored this episode. Thank you so much, and we hope to see you next week. <laughs>